Hi, this is Dr. John LaPuma for ChefMD. Welcome to ChefMD video blog. I'm answering questions from readers and viewers about culinary medicine. And this question comes from Jerry in Monroe, Louisiana. Jerry writes, just have been told by the doctor I have a rather severe allergy to gluten. How do I tell if something has gluten in it or not? Sometimes it's called something else. Also, since I'm not eating gluten, I have less fiber in my diet, what should I be replacing it with besides the obvious fresh stuff? Jerry, good for you for asking your doctor about gluten and getting tested for allergy. That's really the best way to do this. If you're concerned that you have a gluten-free allergy, you can look at uh, celiac.com for good recipes and glutenfreegirl.com for good recipes and gluten.net. Uh, you could take the glutenfreequiz.com if you're not sure, print that out and bring it to your doctor. What you want to do is, in order to tell if something has gluten in it or not, is to look at the label. Um, you can get plenty of fiber from other grains, though. I guess that's the second part of the question. Uh, rice, wild rice, quinoa, buckwheat, all are gluten-free. Um, and I have some, some mixes from producers that are really great. Like uh, Bob's Red Mill has this gluten-free brownie mix. I'm not recommending brownie mix because it's the first uh, ingredient in sh is cane sugar. But it shows you that the, it's come a long way. Uh, I am recommending sorghum flour, which you can cook with. You'll find recipes on glutenfreegirl.com and uh, celiac.com using sorghum flour. There's excellent pasta. This is my favorite uh, gluten-free pasta from Tink Yada. These happen to be brown rice pasta elbows. They make pasta out of brown rice, which is pretty cool. Here's a gluten-free pancake and waffle mix made from rice flour and soy flour from Maple Grove Farms. And these are gluten-free breakfast bars from uh, Glutino. You want to be sure that it has this on it, made in a gluten-free facility or actually gluten-free. There aren't regulations for this yet, which is a big oversight, uh, but there really need to be. And so you gotta rely on producers that are willing to put it on their label as gluten-free. Soy sauce also often has uh, gluten in it, and you can't tell, even though it doesn't say gluten anywhere on the label or wheat anywhere on the label or processed in a wheat facility. You've gotta look for things that say gluten-free on them. So. My recommendation to you is uh, my recipe for gluten-free goat cheese pizza. Look for a Whole Foods Bakehouse brand in Whole Foods Market or uh, frozen in the frozen food section. And uh, use a balsamic vinegar glaze on that, like the Mandarano blend that's, that's available in many supermarkets that is gluten-free. Enjoy gluten-free eating. It can be rich and wonderful in flavor, and you aren't missing anything just because you need to be gluten-free. This is Dr. John LaPuma. Thanks for coming and stopping by ChefMD.